And this is Libby, and I'm going to be looking at the heart. The heart is the muscular organ that pumps blood around the body. The heart has four chambers, the left and right atria, and the left and right ventricles. It also contains valves and a pacemaker. The left atrium is on the body's left, but the diagram views this heart from a doctor's view. So, if I were to label it, we've got the right atrium in the top right corner of the heart, or the top left in the diagram. You've got the left atrium in the top right of the diagram, the right ventricle in the bottom, and the left ventricle in the other corner. You've then got valves which prevent blood flowing backwards between the atria and the ventricles. Blood entering the heart through the right atrium is deoxygenated. It's come from the body. Blood entering the heart through the left atrium is oxygenated as it comes from the lungs. A group of cells in the right atrium act as a pacemaker, controlling the pumping heart. When a heart beats, first of all blood enters the atria, then the atria contract, forcing blood down into the ventricles below, and then the ventricles contract, forcing blood to exit the heart. So, as I just mentioned, the pacemaker is found in the right atrium and it's made up of a group of cells. And just to recap on the processes involved in the beating of the heart. First of all, blood enters the heart via the atria. So it's coming into both the right and the left atria at the same time. Then both atria contract at the same time, forcing the blood into the right and left ventricle. Then together, the right and left ventricle contract and they force blood to exit the heart. So the most important blood vessels are the vena cava. This is what the heart receives deoxygenated blood from the body for a vein called the vena cava. The pulmonary vein, which receives oxygenated blood from the lungs through the pulmonary vein. The aorta, which pumps out oxygenated blood to the body through the aorta. And the pulmonary artery, which, artery, which pumps out deoxygenated blood to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. And finally, the coronary arteries, which supply the heart muscle, muscle with oxygenated blood. So let's just recap on those different blood vessels. We've got the pulmonary vein, which receives oxygenated blood from the lungs, as it has pulmonary in the name. The aorta, which pumps out oxygenated blood to the body. The vena cava, which receives deoxygenated blood from the body the pulmonary artery, which pumps out deoxygenated blood to the lungs, and the coronary arteries. The heart muscle supplies with oxygenated blood through these arteries. So which blood vessel supplies the heart with oxygenated blood from the lungs? As it's coming from the lungs, we know it must be from the pulmonary vein, as it's in the name. So let's just think again about the chambers of the heart. We've got the right ventricle, the left ventricle, the right atrium, and the left atrium. So if we were to think about potentially an exam question you might get asked, this could include which structures stop blood flowing backwards in the heart and where else is backflow a problem? Valves in the heart prevent blood from flowing backwards and valves are also used in veins to stop backflow. So just to think again about our blood vessels we talked about earlier, we know that the heart pumps out oxygenated blood to the body through the aorta. And how many chambers does the human heart have? We know this is four, as we mentioned earlier. And these include the left atrium, the right atrium, the left ventricle, and the right ventricle. So that's everything on the heart. Thank you very much for listening.